In this video I will show you 10 best things to do in Marrakesh. The suggestions are based on our exciting trip to this historic city. And don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our channel and enable notifications. And share your Marrakesh experience or ask a question in the comments below. Marrakesh is one of the top travel destinations in Northwest Africa. This former imperial city is home to beautiful palaces, mosques, gardens, chaotic souks and delicious food. Here are our top 10 picks. Number 10. The Souks of Medina. Medina, the old part of Marrakesh, offers amongst other things a special authentic experience. The Souks. Souk is a street marketplace where you can buy all sorts of products. From leather bags, spices, silver and gold products to more modern items and food. Each street was traditionally named after the commodity that was sold there. And even today you can see that certain streets mostly sell spices, others sell leather products and so on. Getting lost in the chaotic souks of Medina is an interesting experience and offers a glimpse of life in Morocco centuries ago. Number 9. El Badi Palace El Badi Palace is a ruined palace in Marrakesh constructed in late 16th century by the Sultan Ahmed El Mansur, belonging to the Saudian dynasty. The original palace consisted of over 350 rooms, a large swimming pool and several gardens. However, most of its former shine is now gone. El Badi Palace is now a museum with several detached compartments, displaying different art and even a fully restored 12th century minbar. The rooftop terrace offers amazing views of Marrakesh and the bird's eye view of the palace. Number 8. Gardens Marrakesh is famous for its world-renowned gardens. In fact, gardens are such an important part of it that Marrakesh is also known as the Garden City. Gardens symbolize paradise and are a great escape from the desertish atmosphere and busy city streets. You will even find gardens in Riyadh's traditional Moroccan houses and palaces with interior courtyards. While you can find countless amazing gardens in Marrakesh, the following ones are considered one of the most beautiful and open to the public. Jardin Majorel, created in 1923 by a French orientalist Jacques Majorel, but it took over 40 additional years to complete. The garden includes a colorful villa which now became a favorite Instagram spot. Don't miss the nearby Yves Saint Laurent museum dedicated to the work of the legendary fashion designer Yves Saint Laurent. Menara Gardens, botanical gardens located on the west side of Marrakesh. While Jardin Majorel is mostly popular with tourists, the Menara Gardens are a popular relaxation spot for the locals. Le Jardin Secret, a place in Medina with a traditional Islamic garden offering a great escape from the crowded streets of Marrakesh. Number 7. Ketubia Mosque the Tubia Mosque is the largest mosque in Marrakesh, located in Medina. Because of its 253 feet tall minaret, it is very easy to spot and can even help you with orientation around Marrakesh. Ketubia Mosque was built in the 12th century and was an inspiration for other prominent buildings. Outside the mosque, you will find a beautiful large garden plaza. Number 6. Gemma Al Afna Square. Located next to Ketubia Mosque, you will find the central square of Medina, Gemma Al Afna. Here you will find an interesting mix of locals and tourists with street vendors selling everything from fresh orange juice to souvenirs. You will also find numerous entertainers such as snake charmers, fortune tellers, etc. However, if you plan to stop and watch or take a photo with them, they will demand money, sometimes quite aggressively. For the ultimate experience, you can go to one of the rooftop bars and order the traditional Moroccan mint tea and soak in the atmosphere. Number 5. Tanneries Morocco is famous for its traditional leather tanning industry. In fact, leather bags, shoes and other products are common items sold in the souks. Most tanneries are located in the northern part of Medina, outside the main tourist areas. You can experience the process of treating the animal skins to produce leather. But be careful because there are many scams related to visiting the tanneries. Number 4. Bahia Palace Bahia Palace was built in the 19th century for Si Musa, Grand Vizier of the Sultan. Unlike El Badi Palace that we mentioned before, Bahia Palace is well preserved. 
A great way to travel back in history and experience life in over 150 rooms and an impressive two-acre garden constructed in the Islamic and Moroccan style. One of the more interesting places and another popular Instagram spot in Marrakesh is the harem with its outside court opening to the living quarter for concubines residing in Bahia Palace. Number 3. Miara Jewish Cemetery Following a mass exile of Jews from Spain in the 15th century, Marrakesh became a new home for many of them. Over 35,000 resided in Melach, the Jewish quarter with approximately 40 synagogues. In 1537, the Jewish cemetery was built just outside the Melach quarter. The cemetery exists to this day. Visit the Jewish quarter and the Jewish cemetery to experience the historic dimension of this culturally rich city. Number 2. Baba Gnau. There were 19 gates to Marrakesh, providing entrance to different districts of the city. Baba Gnau was built in the 12th century and was providing entrance to the royal part of Medina and was built to impress the visitors. Today, Baba Gnau is still admired by visitors as one of the main tourist attractions in Marrakesh. A cute addition to the ancient gates are the storks nesting on top. Number 1. Sadian Tombs Entering Marrakesh through the Baba Gnau gates gives you access to the Kabash, Marrakesh's royal district. Here you can find the Kabash Mosque, another important historical mosque in the city. However, hidden for centuries behind the Kabash Mosque and now excavated, lie impressive Sadian tombs where over 60 members of the influential Sadi dynasty were buried. Sadi dynasty ruled Morocco in the 16th and 17th century. The tombs were rediscovered in 1917 and you can now see them along with another impressive Moroccan garden. Of course, there are many other interesting places to see in Marrakesh. Do you have a favorite place in Marrakesh or have you been to one of the places we presented in this video? Share it in the comments below and don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our channel and enable notifications so that we can keep bringing you more awesome content.